What's up, guys? We're back here for a Revolt 2 high-level account. We finally got the Raging Wolf Elite Boost on here in our alliance. And you can see our archers are very, very close to upgrading to level 13. Very, very cool stuff. So, I need your help, though, guys. I've never used the Elite Boost Raging Wolf. And when I have attempted to use it, as you're going to see here, it just doesn't seem to work too well with my attack squad of Sword Rain, Shield... Sonic Blast, Knight, and Archers. It feels like I don't need the Raging Wolf at all uh, with this setup. It it just feels like kind of it's like it's just air. It's just eh. Um. So obviously, initial setup in this is tons of Archers, and then a Sonic Blast, and so we save our Sword Rain for the next wave. Keep spawning out Archers. Scream to bring them up now. We've got the knights. Stay with our troops here so we don't take as much damage. We uh, prematurely sword right there. We should have waited just a little bit more for that ogre to get uh, in range. Scream right there. And so what I've noticed is that the ogre, or the, uh, the wolf, actually only screams when there's units around so we're going to summon out a wolf now and with this setup though most troops and units are actually dead thanks to the sword rate so the wolf is not getting the howl off and is not screaming like we really want him to so he's finally getting a howl off now We spawn a ton of archers. And it's really interesting too because occasionally the wolf attacks the towers. Most of the time the wolf just bypasses all the towers and goes straight for the troops. Like the next troops that are way up in front. It's a very, very interesting thing. So you're like there, he bypassed that skull tower. So I don't know what's up with the AI on this wolf. Like, is it glitched? Is that what he's supposed to do? Is he like... 50-50, attack a tower, maybe not attack a tower. Like, do I feel like attacking a tower today? I don't feel like attacking a tower today. Like, I need some help here, guys. I don't understand the wolf AI. I don't understand how to utilize him. This one we did all right. The wolf uh, may have helped some. We got a couple howls in. But I really don't feel like I needed the wolf in this raid. Like, maybe, it, you know, higher up I need the wolf. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I need your help here. Does the wolf just not synchronize, does not synergize well with the archer knight spam combo with sword rain? Post it in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on this. We're going to do some more raids and, uh, you know, see if we can utilize the wolf. See if we even need the wolf. I mean, if, if not, then we just rather throw the mummy in there who uh, spawns instantly with us. And then whenever we have the elite boost mummy on, we got some free knights when he does die. Ooh, 773,000. Yeah, so the opening setup here of just nonstop archers has done really well for me with the shield spell. Uh, and then the sonic blasts taking care of the first wave and then waiting for the second wave. Because most bases have these kind of choke points up here. So we're able to hit two waves with that sword rain. That's why we saved the sword rain there. At that point, now we scream, bring them up, sit back, cover with our hero. And of course, we uh, we have a little bit of screen boost. I think we have like 14, 15% on screen boost, so not much there. Our leadership is only at, uh, I believe, 9,500 at this, with this armor setup. So at this point, I, like, again, the wolf only seems to howl when there's troops nearby, and I don't see any real point in spawning out a wolf. Like, the wolf is not going to howl. He's just going to jump bypass all these things. Oh, we misfired a little bit on our sword rain there. Spawn out a ton more archers. Let's 
So at this point, the raid is pretty much over. We have the base destroyed. Uh, it's just a matter of getting to the castle gate. We're spawning out a, a wolf here, and its I don't think it's going to do anything. You know, like it's, It takes about 30 seconds to get to the castle gate from the tent. I've calculated that. I'm going to scream. So in about 30 seconds, the wolf will get up here. By that point, the raid's pretty much done. I mean, I'd rather have an ogre in this situation where we could have popped an ogre right next to us. Or I'm not an ogre, I mean a mummy. So like the wolf didn't even get to the castle gate there. We didn't use the wolf at all in that battle, and we had no problem beating that base. So I really, really need some help here. I just don't think that the knight spam archer, I guess, really works well with this wolf combo for some reason. Is it the sword ring? Because the sword ring kills all the units? Like that may be it. Maybe wolf works really well with the blizzard spell, but it doesn't work well with the sword ring. So this is an easy base here, but it's got a ton of loot, so let's go raid this base. And then, so, like, if we do try to do some crazy wolf combo, so let's just, let's do a, a crazy wolf combo here. This is supposed to be an easy base. We're going to bring out a couple wolves in the beginning of this match. So we're going to bring out two wolves. And then now we'll start bringing out some knights. We're going to hit all those ogres there. So part of the reason I thought the wolf would actually be good with the knight archer army is because when he howls, not only does he increase the attack speed, but he also increases like the defense. They're not going to be taking as much damage from you know towers, troops, anything. So we're definitely getting a lot more howling off this time. But again, the question is, does this actually speed our raid up? We actually have three wolves now, so I actually misclicked somewhere and got another got another wolf in this fight. Or maybe I was seeing an, uh, an enemy wolf. So obviously we're going to beat the base anyway. It looks like we may have gained maybe 10 seconds, maybe. So I don't know. I mean, last raid, obviously a little harder base. Ended right around the 30 second mark. This raid ended around the 45 second mark. Again, it was an easier base. So I don't know. Did the wolf actually help us or was it just kind of like uh, there? And I mean, did we necessarily need it? We could have probably have done that just as easily with Archer Night Spam. As we have been doing. So I don't know. I, I really don't know. I'm really confused on how to use the wolf effectively. Uh, if it works with these guys. With this attacking squad. I mean. is I, I think it could be the sword ring that really messes it up. Because it kills all the, the troops. And that's what I've noticed. That it doesn't howl on towers. It, I mean it rarely even attacks towers. So here we go. Another base here. So. So I'm guessing the blizzard doesn't kill all the troops in one shot. I, I personally don't have my blizzard leveled up, so that's why I don't use blizzard. I know a lot of the high level players use blizzard. They think it's a really, really good spell. And it, it seems like it is, because it does do a lot of damage to the skull towers. It can uh, one-shot wolves from my, what I understand. So in that situation right there, like, all these added little troops, it helps us get some of them through, in my opinion. So, like, if we stopped and built up enough morale to bring out a wolf, all our little guys kind of would have died there. 
now we're uh, into the base. We don't have many choke points to deal with. I think that we can spawn out a wolf. But again, I don't know. Like, if all our guys die right here, which some of them will because there's a multiple skull towers in a, a you know nice setup, nice curve setup right there. Will the wolf actually be efficient? Will the will the wolf survive these these towers right there that we had to run through? So one wolf survived. We've got the wolves howling back there. Spawning out tons of archers to deal with any leftover fireball towers that we missed. We've got the howl going off there. Again, it just goes to the question, is this better than doing just pure night archer spam? Maybe with a little bit of mummies thrown in. Mummies are cheaper. They also stun the towers and such. I guess we can go and raid, raid the same person over again and see how it works with just nonstop night archer spam. So we missed a tower somewhere. Scorpio. Scorpio. All right, let's go raid him again. Um, and we'll compare things. Scorp. Just trying to remember his name. So it's Scorpy something. Scorpy la 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 la. -la. Uh, hold on, I'm going to check back here in the recording. Alright, so we're going to go right through him again. We're going to put on the mummy instead. And we're just mainly going to use the archers and the knight spam here. Compare the time that it takes us to finish this base. So the only downside to this is that we kind of know more about his base now. So this run we should essentially rate it a little bit faster. We get it. It's a good gauge to figure out is it effective with this squad? So you see, we're not spawning out any mummies yet. The mummies are, you know, only for the end. Probably would have been a little bit better to wait for the mummy to die there so we could have killed off the knights at the same time. But again, I mean, we made mistakes in the last raid too, so it's not like we're playing perfect. And that's why we're going to get a, you know, a 10 second increase in speed. Or maybe not, you know, like maybe the wolf actually did improve our time. It looks like we're coming uh, coming very close this time. And I think we had more time to spare with the wolf last raid. So at that point, I should have been uh, saving up morale to build up mummies. So yeah, so it does look like that the wolf did speed up our attack a little bit here. 
So like 17 seconds left over. I'll have to check and see what the last one was. Uh, but yeah, maybe the wolf did help out. Maybe maybe it does help. It just, I have to get better at raiding with the wolf and utilizing his power. Again, post your comments down below. Help us out here. Give us some tips on raiding with the wolf. What should we do? What should we not do? Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that like button. Share the videos. Tell your friends about Royal Revolt 2. And I will talk to you later. Peace.